Hello there. News is developing that the UK and EU have had some form of Brexit breakthrough, as Michel Barnier has been given the green light to get the talks into the intense so-called tunnel phase. There are hopes that some sort of deal can now be done to break the Brexit on pass, because the EU chief Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier has been given the go-ahead to intensify the negotiations. This came, it seems, as a result of a meeting between the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson and his Irish counterpart Leo Varadkar, which produced optimistic noises and signals from both sides. However, we are still being warned that there is a long way to go and that there are no guarantees. This will come as welcome news to the now Brexit-weary public though, but as ever, the devil is in the detail. There is talk that this is just Theresa May's Withdrawal Agreement Surrender Treaty with a tweaked backstop and that the rest will be essentially the same. We'll just have to wait and see on that one. But it is the House of Commons that comes next, with MPs having to vote for both that Boris agreement and also for an accompanying but separate framework for the future relationship, the so-called political declaration. Then after that, before the agreement can be ratified, a complex Act of Parliament has to be passed, which contains provision for the implementation of that withdrawal agreement. That says to me that we would need what is termed as a technical, several months long, Article 50 extension to complete all that work, and we'd have to fork out £39 billion for the pleasure. So, if this is a correct assessment, then Boris needed that Article 50 extension anyway, possibly explaining why the Ben Surrender Act was left to go through so easily in the end. But that aside, let's get back to those Remainer MPs in the House of Commons. The Lib Dem policy is to revoke Article 50 or at least have a second referendum, and the SNP are along those same lines. Most other MPs would be very happy to see a second EU referendum. And importantly, Labour's new policy is to have a referendum between whatever deal and remaining in the European Union. And we can all guess where the former Tories are, can't we? And their minds will be concentrated by the results of a Comres poll that was briefed at a Conservative Party conference private drinks reception, which has now been published by The Telegraph. And the main message was that if the UK left the EU without a deal, or with a deal by 11pm on the 31st of October, and then held an election, a Boris-led Tory government would have a 114 to 118 seat majority. But if he failed to leave on the 31st, even if the delay was short, then the Tories would be 14 to 18 seats short of a majority. And if Brexit was cancelled, then Labour would have the most seats but be 39 seats short of a clear majority. So viewing this from a Jeremy Corbyn or Remainer angle, the last thing they want to see is Boris succeed in any form to get the UK out by the Halloween deadline. And that now goes for the majority of MPs, one supposes. They will therefore definitely not vote for a deal that allows the UK to leave the EU on time. They are also unlikely to vote for a deal, even if it means a delay, because they don't want to leave anyway. They will find an excuse not to vote for it. But what most of them might well plump for is to press ahead with forcing Boris to send the Ben Surrender Act Article 50 extension request letter for the purpose of having a referendum on the Boris Johnson deal versus Remain and they will definitely not want to hold a general election prior to that referendum taking place. They will not allow anything to get in the way. That is unless, of course, the EU makes it absolutely clear that once the deal is properly on the table, then an Article 50 extension would only be allowed in order to get the UK legislation completed so that the deal can be ratified. And that's when the screams of revoke the Article 50 letter will be heard if not before. 
and it now looks like this might all be played out at that special sitting of MPs on Saturday the 19th of October. So get the beers and popcorn ready and strap in for a bumpy ride. Anyway, what do you think? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.